I wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, the Rossi ranch hand. This is a mare's leg style uh, firearm. It's rated as a handgun, uh, which makes it uh, a little bit more usable in a lot of ways. It's kind of a unique firearm, and uh, I don't know that it's got a lot of practicality to it, but it's fun, and it's fun to shoot. I kind of have a thing for the unusual firearms, and this is one. Now, this is chambered in 357 Magnum. Uh, it's got a 12-inch barrel on it, and it's a typical lever action. Got a rather smooth action, for that matter, uh, for being... Uh, just an off-the-shelf firearm. It's never been reworked. The gun was manufactured by Taurus International in Brazil, and Taurus has come up a long way in this world uh, over the last several years, and one of the things that uh, I've noticed and heard about uh, is their warranty. They have a lifetime warranty on all their firearms, and I've talked to a couple of people that have had to have something done uh, under the warranty, and they've been satisfied. So it's a pretty quality firearm when you get down to it. We'll get into some more depth on it, but first I want to discuss a few of the features of this and, and the fun and and some of the drawbacks too. So sit back and enjoy. This is a public domain photo of a man by the name of Steve McQueen. In the late 50s and early 60s, Mr. McQueen played the part of Josh Randall, who was a ex-Confederate soldier turned bounty hunter. Josh was unique in the trade and he just didn't bring people in dead over the back of a horse. And also, Josh carried what was called a mare's leg, a cut-down Winchester, very similar to the Ross Ranch Hand. Now, Josh Randall had a way of spinning this... Uh, mare's leg of his around on his hand to cock it and then shoot from the hip. Other uh, Western stars did the same thing. Chuck Connors in The Rifleman and uh, John Wayne in True Grit uh, did that little swivel method. If you want to do that, please do it when I'm not around. The first thing I want to talk about is some safety aspects. I always like to bring up safety when I'm talking about firearms. And for that reason, there's nothing in these videos that I do that uh, the children shouldn't watch. Uh, I do encourage you to watch with your children sometime because as a hunter education instructor for over 40 years, uh, safety became very important to me and especially to impart that safety on young shooters. And I encourage you to get young shooters involved. So let's talk about some of the safety aspects of this, uh, this handgun. First of all, Rossi has uh, installed a safety, which is not something you see on lever actions all the time, but there is a safety on here, and it's up here on top of the hammer. And you can flip that on, and it will block the hammer from coming down. The, ha the other safety aspect, then, is the half cock, like on any lever action. I don't ever trust a safety, uh, but if it's loaded in the chamber, for, by all means, uh, go ahead and use the safety and the half cock. It won't hurt a thing and it will uh, prevent any accidents. I prefer to carry the chamber empty when I'm carrying it. The other thing is, uh, and I'll, I'll really get into this in a little bit, is this uh, 
lever, this caulking lever, and you know it's got this big old round loop in it. I don't like to see people try to swing these around and, and use that loop to caulk them. Go ahead and stick your hand in there and caulk it like it's... It's a relatively easy gun to shoot, but you have to make some adjustments in your shooting styles to shoot this. Uh, it's not meant to shoot from the shoulder. It's meant to be a handgun. And as such, it's going to take some practice. Holding it with one hand out and shooting it is uh, a little bit awkward. Holding it with two hands uh, is a little bit more comfortable. It's got nice big buckhorn side on the rear, nice bead uh, post side on the front, uh, relatively easy to line up, and that 12-inch barrel gives you a lot of sight radius, and, and therefore uh, you can learn to shoot this pretty accurately. As a matter of fact, I uh, used a lot of ammo doing it, but uh, I've become fairly proficient with this. Uh, from the hip, which is kind of what it's designed to do, I suppose. One thing you may want to consider is some type of carrying case for this. Uh, regular rifle case is a little bit big, and the carrying cases and holsters for these are relatively expensive. So I've uh, done a little bit of modifying of a rifle case. Uh, little help from some Gorilla Tape and, and a saddle stitcher. I just simply cut one down and, and made it fit uh, my Rossi. The added benefit to this was I was able to mount this into my four-wheeler, my side-by-side, -side, and use it there. Now, this does qualify again, I've stressed this before, as a handgun. So carrying it, uh, you don't have to have it in a completely clo enclosed case on your ATV. That's Colorado law now. So it fits a little bit better after you cut one down, and you might think about doing that. So that's what I have for you this time around. Please subscribe to the channel. Remember, Cox Notes. YouTube and sit back and enjoy and take a youngster out and mentor him and teach him or her and have some fun burn up some ammo and do a little target shooting maybe a little rabbit hunting and then maybe work into some big game hunting there's nothing more satisfying than taking that youngster on his on the first big game hunt I'm Bob Cox. This is Cox News. See you later.